On the previous video, you learned how to mark a transaction done. In this video, I'm going to cover how to mark a transaction collected and paid. When the customer comes to your store to pick up their cleaned, altered, or tailored items, you will need to mark the items collected. This will help you find and list your uncollected items later on down the track. The first step is to search for the transaction, which can be done using the search box here. There are multiple ways to find transactions which are covered on our previous video, but most of the time you will search the transaction by either directly entering the transaction ID or by searching for the customer and then look into their transactions. For example, if you want to search for order D3, simply type D3 here and then hit enter. The details for D3 are displayed on the screen. Alternatively, instead of searching for a transaction ID by typing it manually, you can use a barcode scanner to scan the barcode on the receipts. This is especially handy if your transaction numbers grow over 10,000 and it's hard to type. If for any reason you don't have the transaction ID, you can search for the customer by display name, first name, middle name, last name, phone number, or email address. And once the customer is found, click on the customer's name to show his or her transactions. Each transaction has three dots on the right side to open the transaction menu. The menu allows you to process, mark, edit, void, or delete the transaction. You can also print or email a transaction, or even send a relevant text message to the customer through this menu. Transaction menu affects all the items in the transaction. Therefore, if I mark the transaction collected, all the items in the transaction will be marked collected. From the menu, simply select Mark All Collected. The collection window opens, allowing you to add some notes if necessary. Note that this transaction is on account and therefore has some outstanding balance that needs to be cleared before the collection. Therefore, clicking on Mark Collected will take me to the payment page to process the payment. Please note that if the order is related to an account customer, you should still mark it collected, but in this page, you need to select On Account again to finalize the process. To cover a more complex scenario, I'm going to demonstrate how to mark each individual item in the transaction collected. So I navigate to Transaction History and search for D8. This order is a mixed dry cleaning and alterations order, and therefore the items might need to be collected separately. On the right hand side of each item, you can click on the menu and then click on Mark Collected. Now you can see a note next to the item confirming the collection. Clicking on the note will show you more details. You can find the collection date and the person responsible. Clicking on the bin will remove the collection data. If an item quantity is more than one, as soon as I click Mark Collected, the item selection window will pop up. I can select one by one or click Select All to select all items. Clicking the checkbox will get me to the collection window. I confirm by clicking Mark Collected. Because we have marked all items collected and this order has an outstanding amount, Gilas redirects me to the payment page to process the payments. Here, I can choose a payment method, or if this transaction relates to an account customer, click On Account to finalize the process. Let's assume the customer does not want to collect their items and only wants to make a payment for the transaction. In this case, I simply select Continue from the transaction menu and process the payment.